what's up guys today we're going to be checking out a new tool that's been emerging from twitch themselves for exclusive twitch streaming that's twitch studio beta and by the word beta you obviously know that it might have bugs and fixes that need to go around but you can stay connected with them in their own discord for which the link will be given in the description below you gotta go to google and type for twitch studio Head to its link, hit that down, and this is pretty much where you'll get to after the login is done. So once the login is done, you can either choose to skip setup or get started. So I'm going to be skipping the setup because I'll be showing you step-by-step -step procedure on how to set up the stream on your own. So you'll have your activity here, activity feed here, not bad, your chat here, and your sources and scenes pretty much here. And obviously it can detect any full screen application, but if you want something to be captured specifically, okay, you can select the window below or just leave it just like that. You can also choose to capture your own display. That's totally up to you. As you can see, it's recording my microphone and it will record your desktop audio as well. If you don't want any of those, you can choose to mute them or unmute them anytime you want. You can turn off or turn on webcams as you feel like. You have the audio mixer to adjust, make adjustments or listen to them. The audio and the basics of streaming is pretty much there in this platform. The only downside is that you cannot stream anywhere else except Twitch. For full-time Twitch streamers, this is the best bet to get everything started easily. So now we're going to be checking out how to get overlays set up in each one of our screens. Obviously, you're gonna have one starting screen, one main screen, and one be right back. If you know you do it that way, then this might be helpful to you. All right, first things first, let's rearrange and rename the stuff that we need. So, I'm gonna keep the main in the middle, and obviously, that's not gonna be be right back. I'm gonna be naming it as starting. And to edit the scene, all you need to do is hit right click and hit edit. You can remove all these trash, you wouldn't be needing any of those. Once they're removed, you are left with a blank screen. So, I pretty much use my stream elements overlays, so I'm going to be doing that over here as well. So I have my starting zone overlay, I'm just going to copy the URL. We're going to add an embed web page. I'm gonna name it as overlay just for uh, simplicity. Custom page resolution. Try to keep it full scaled. That is 1920 to 1080. Copy paste the URL here and hit the go button. As you can see, now you can snap your overlay to the page, and there you have it. The starting soon scene is right there. So Twitch has its own integrated uh, alert box, Twitch alerts. If you want, you can keep that. Uh, but the downside is that now here's the thing. Let's let's. So that's right for it. But if you already have you know um, alerts embedded within your source, then you wouldn't need that. But if you do, you know how to add that. So that was starting screen. I'm gonna head towards the main screen. This is pretty much where we're gonna be doing the game capture thing. So let's leave game capture right there and delete all the other scenes. And there we go. So you might wanna have another overlay even in the main screen, which I kinda do. So I'm gonna copy my in-game overlay. And then, just like we did it in the previous step, paste that, cut some resolution, 1920, 1080, there we go, snap them to the edges, up, oh. up, oh. and that's pretty much it over here. And then we're gonna go to chatting screen. So this is not really gonna be a chatting screen. I'm gonna name this 
BRB or B right back, however you feel comfortable. Okay, we're gonna have alerts over here, but again, as I said in the starting soon screen, if you already have alerts established in your overlay, then you wouldn't want to turn that on. So, I'm gonna copy the URL for B right back. Should have turned that off. I mean, delete that off. Again, embedded web page. Custom resolution. It's pretty basic stuff, actually. Enable sound. If you have alerts inside the overlay, then do make sure that the enable sound is given. You can also do a whole lot of different things, but there's no color modifications that needs to be done in this specific page. So I'm gonna just leave that default. And there we go. Be right back is there. So yeah, all the pages are almost done once it's done hit the save button and there you have it and then if you hit start streaming you can select which stream you want to which scene or source you need to start off with and of course you can adjust the title add tags and everything and then hit go live i'm not gonna go be going live right now but this is pretty much how you do it so once all of your overlays and scenes are ready to go actually you can add any number of scenes you want but i wouldn't be needing any more than three or max four to add to the stream ended stuff but you get the thing right so play around with it and uh the last important thing is that okay you can adjust the chat settings but this you can, this can be done in the twitch website itself that's totally up to you now head towards the settings this is the important part you can use smart tuning if you, if you don't know what you're messing around with or if you do know then just set your values over here based on your internet set your bitrate choose your streaming encoder Let's see. Okay. So there are handy features. Not so this is pretty much what you get in OBS Studio's uh, simple view, you know. And uh, in advanced tab, obviously you have advanced options there, but here it's just the simple configurations and you're good to go. You can change the audio however you feel like. You can add noise gate, compressor. They have given really good basic features that a basic beginner streamer would need and that's what you have here you can also do recordings with it but i'm not sure why someone would use that when you already have nvidia shadowplay to desktop capture and do all sorts of capture you need so that was pretty much it guys uh if you like this video hit that thumbs up button if you would like to see more of such stuff then do let me know in the comments below or hit that subscribe button so i will know that you guys actually like this content and i'll bring up more of it for now that was pretty much it and thanks for watching again i'll see you guys in the next video